Now let's have a look at a story that is quite concerning for the media industry and journalists and media organizations are under threats and attacks from various sources since the Kenya Kwanzaa administration took over power last year. That is according to a state report on the state of the media in Kenya released yesterday. The report by the Frederick Newman Foundation, an organization advocating for press freedom, wants that a daily shrinking space of media freedom is hindering journalists from executing their duties professionally and independently. The Media Council of Kenya CEO David Omoyo said there is need for the Kenyan media to consolidate and unite to confront the emerging challenges for them to disseminate relevant information to consumers. This comes after a number of journalists were attack, attacked rather, while covering opposition anti-government protests a few months ago. Who came here today because we are <laughs> speaking Japanese. <laughs> so, for the media houses that are represented here, <laughs> we must work hard and get the Kenya from uh, to be among the media uh, in, in Africa that are enjoying the press freedom. When those challenges combine, they will most likely operate separately, depending on the need. They will form alliances to impede media freedom. What we need to define are strategies on how to reduce the pressure of the people working in the media. It's both commercial, it's a bit of security matters, it is literally lack, lack of opportunities. The number of jobless journalists and editors out here is overwhelming.